<clears throat> hey everyone, Christian here, and this is going to be a cycad review. And uh, what we have here is Dyun spinulosum, uh, otherwise known as the giant Dyun, or also as the gum palm, which of course it is not a palm, it is a cycad. You can see the cone right there, and that is where that is a male cone, so that will be that will hold pollen, and it have to be it would have to pollinate a female in order to make seeds. So um, this has been given the name the gum palm. Um, some kind of gum is made from the, the I believe, either the trunk or something in the cone. Um, but I haven't, I actually don't know why it's been given that name. I, mean, other, I don't know where the, where, like, what its purpose is made for. But, um, but yeah, it's, it has, in my opinion, the closest aspects to, to a palm that any cycad has. It has this big crown of leaflets, much like a palm does. Um, and the trunk is my, very palm-like, if you can see it there at the base, even though it's not very big. This, this palm, I mean, this palm, this cycad is about 12 years old, and um, I would say approximately if it was well taken care of. It could be as, as much as 20 to 25 years old, though, if it had been in, like, in a pot and been stunted. So, um, but it does have, like, those pendant leaflets, and it kind of has that long uh, rachis, and it just looks very palm-like, and a lot of people get these thinking that they're palm and they treat them like a palm, which is okay because it actually grows in relatively tropical uh, conditions uh, throughout uh, Veracruz and uh, Oaxaca. So Veracruz and Oaxaca are two southern uh, Mexican states, and they're quite, it's quite, Veracruz, Oaxaca, Chiapas, um, those areas are quite uh, hot spots for cycads, and I've talked about the hot spots for palms, such as Madagascar, Cuba, and New Caledonia, but um, for cycads, they're going to be places like South Africa, um, southern Mexico and a lot of Latin America um, and also Central Africa as well so I mean there's there's many cycad uh, you know hot spots but Mex southern Mexico is known for uh, it's, it's great diversity in plant species and cycads are no exception there are many species of cycads that grow there so this cone's emerging and if there were to be a female to be pollinated this big egg-shaped uh, female cone would uh, produce seeds that would be about the size of an egg and uh, they're quite large. They're uh, yellow fruit, and um, they're actually quite easy to germinate. This is not a neat. This is not a hard uh, cycad to grow, and it is quite rewarding. I'd say it's hardy down to about uh, in the nine B zone. I've seen these take you know the mid upper twenties, take a little bit of burn, and come right back. I would say it's actually stem hardy, meaning the, all the leaves would burn um, and just kind of freeze off, probably down into the low to mid twenties. Um, and uh, it is one of the more tropical the dyunes. Most dyunes can handle low twenties, not with really not without much of a problem. But uh, these wide leaf dyunes really are the, the exception. And uh, I mean, they are beautiful. Um, it's just that these are the I'm sorry, the, the broad leaf. So most dyunes actually have a what are basically essentially spines coming off of the uh, the rachis there, and um, and they're not they're not thick like the, there are on on this uh, cycad species. So. Um, you could actually find these often at your local big box store if you look close enough or you live in a, a more tropical area. But if you don't, um, you know, you can, you can find three gallon, seven gallon plants or even grow them from seed. Seed's not that expensive. It runs probably, uh, if you buy, you can find them on eBay. A good deal is under like 50 cents to a dollar a seed. And, uh, they're usually very viable and, they're, again, they're not very uh, hard to take care of. They, they'll, take an, they'll take abuse if you don't have, or neglect, I should say. I'm not, uh, I'm not condoning neglect, but the, if you happen to leave the, the house for four or five days and don't water it, it'll still, still be there when you get back. But you can kind of see just how, you know, how nice the leaflets are. If this weren't a common cycad, it would be probably highly desired by collectors. And I always think about that. You know, there are a lot of common palms that look beautiful but I think are overlooked a lot um, by by people that are saying that they're ugly because they've just seen too many of them and I don't I don't I don't think anyone thinks that this is ugly but I think that people kind of take this cycad for granted because it is uh, it is relatively common in the cycad world but if this were a like an, a rare cycad I believe that you know it really be would be cherished because there's a lot of rare cycads out there that actually are kind of wispy or ratty and they really aren't that interesting looking but because of their rare people love them but uh if this like i said if this were were rare i think people would pay quite a price tag for them but even one this size um 
you know, looking at probably 250 to 300 dollars for just for, you know, and that's probably you know starting out. You know, it has a good fat base to it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen them probably go for as much as six to seven. That's probably more of like on the wholesale side. You're probably looking more like five to six hundred. Um, you know, if you're just to buy this at a, at a nursery, like especially a Psychad specialist nursery. So uh, expect to pay you know several hundred dollars, several hundred dollars for a uh, Dayu and Spinulosum this size. But again, it is you know 12 to 15 years old, and uh, you know it does take a while to grow these. And, you know, it, it is quite an easy plant to grow. It's easy to dig up. You can dig these right up. You can dig them bare root with no dirt and just kind of have the roots exposed. And uh, that's what's nice about uh, cycads. You know, they, they may take a while to grow, but they will take a lot of abuse. And these will also take a lot of water, too, these spinulosums, because they do come from basically tropical rainforest in southern Mexico. So they, they can be uh, relatively easily confused with a couple other species, such as Dayun Mejia and Dayun Rizalskii which I may get in other videos, but right now I just have this spinulosum. I'm kind of just introducing people to the vlog that may not know about cycads into the more common species. But, uh, but yeah, the seed is not too hard to get a hold of. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's egg-shaped, yellow fruit, although when it would come to you, it probably wouldn't have that yellow fruit on it. And uh, it's, it's relatively easy to germinate. A lot of heat, some water, not too much water. Fa always a fast, you always want a fast-rating media for cycads. Not because they're necessarily, uh, they grow in, uh, like, you know, in, in well-draining media, but just because they are relatively slow growers and you want the, the ability for the soil to decompose over time and not have to repot it so often. So, um, so I believe that's about it about Dayun Spinulosum. If you guys have any other questions about, um, you know, Dayun Spinulosum or maybe another Dayun species, leave it down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and want to see other uh, Palm and Cycad and other plant related videos. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Uh, I go live quite a bit and um, you know, we, we discuss plants, palm, cycads, or other. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys.